areas. All right, we had our own flooding issues. Obviously nothing like that, but still very dangerous and caused a lot of damage. What we're watching in the First Alert Weather Center, though, is warmer and drier conditions. There will be some storms returning by the week's end, and hot temperatures are certainly back. I mean, we only had a one-day reprieve of the uh, cold, of the hot temperatures yesterday, but uh, we're back to the 90s today. 91 right now in Denver, 93 in Greeley, 89 out in Ray, high country, 79 in Frisco, 97 in Grand Junction, and we have 86 from our weather watcher, Gary Blubla in South Lake. Lakewood. Let's check in with our temperature trend again. We cool or we cooled off yesterday because we are 101 on Friday, 93 on Saturday. We were down to 84 yesterday, but back up to the 90s today, and then we're in the 90s again tomorrow with 92 degrees. So again, just that one little blip down to the 80s felt nice, but of course we had all that flooding rain as well. So temperatures on Tuesday, 94 in Greeley, 89 in Lyman, 92 in Yuma. High country 70s and 80s out there, and we're looking at the 90s out west. So 99 in Grand Junction, 97 in Glenwood Springs. Still not into the roasty, toasty temperatures out in the eastern plains. So it's hot out there, but it's not as hot as it has been. So at least it's a little bit better out there. Still a few thunderstorms and showers out there this evening. We can see most of that down in the southern part of the state. Uh, We've had some flooding near Walsenburg earlier today, and now we see just a few little thunderstorms out there. And actually in Teller County, we do a flash flood warning in place. And we do actually have a flash flood watch in place for southern Colorado through 9 o'clock tonight because there has been some heavy rain in that area. Still could get a couple showers that could produce some flooding conditions. So again, that's an area of the state that still has to be wary of some potential flooding. Let's look at that future cast for tonight again. Still have a chance of a little bit of rain out there, maybe out in the eastern plains. Tomorrow morning we wake up to sunshine and then very quickly it gets hot and sunny around here. But there will be a chance once again. They're very isolated for the next couple of days from the southwest into the San Luis Valley and possibly even out in the far eastern plains. Chance for a few isolated storms that could bring some moderate to heavy rainfall. So still be very weather aware, especially down in that southern part of the state. The rest of us, though, maybe a few clouds here and there. Otherwise, it's just warm and sunny for us. Now, looking at your super seven day forecast here at uh, 95 on Thursday. We are still in the 90s, though, as we head into Wednesday across the state. Uh, temperatures are going to be in the 90s this weekend. That's not a zero. That's a 60 over there. Temperatures will be in the 90s on uh, Saturday and Sunday around here with isolated storms possible on Friday. And I hit the wrong button, so I advanced it. So I'm sorry I went past Wednesday, but we are looking at temperatures to be in the 90s well through uh, probably early next week as well before we find start to cool down. Rockies and Broncos on that schedule. I like that. Make sure you stay <laughs> hydrated out yes. there. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Broncos head coach Nathaniel Hackett has big